really where his false expectation has come from. And just like there's going to be Christians in our day or in, in future times to come that have this false expectation that Jesus is going to be coming for them before any real tribulation and hard times come, and they're going to be caught off guard. John the Baptist seemed a little caught, caught off guard, and it caused him to doubt, right? And when people start going through a hard time, as John is cast into prison, they may get caught off guard and start to doubt and wonder. Now, we don't want to be like that. We, wa we want to have that solid, strong faith under the end. But here's a cool thing about Jesus Christ. So let's look at how Jesus answers, because John sent his disciples to go and ask him these questions, and then Jesus gives them an answer. Look at verse number four. The Bible says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. So basically tell him everything. He's not just telling him to say this. He's saying, tell him what you're seeing, what you're hearing. Like, like tell him the truth. Tell him this is all what's happening. Here's what you see. Here's what you hear. The blind receive their sight. The lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. And the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor of the gospel preach to them. He's saying, you're seeing and hearing all this stuff. Just to confirm and reinforce John, look, this is what's happening. Of course, this is the Son of God. Of course, Jesus is the Christ. There is no one else that you need to be looking for because all of this stuff is happening and this is fulfilling Scripture that he should know very well at this point and, and saying th this is what's going on. Okay. Then he follows. You know, he gives them the evidence. I mean, that's enough. Like, yes, th uh, this is right. Verse 6, though, he says, And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Now, as I was mentioning, I think John might have been offended in Jesus somehow. This is part of his false expectation that, Jesus, that John was offended. Because why else would Jesus say, add that at the end, blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. That John was offended probably because he's left in that prison cell. So, so that, that he's offended that Jesus didn't come and get him out and whatever, that he has been offended. Now, that term and that phrase being used of being offended in him is also found in the book of John chapter 6 when Jesus is teaching his disciples and others about him being the bread of life. So if you remember that, uh, that chapter or that story when Jesus is going through saying, except you eat my, my flesh and drink my blood, you have no part with me. You know, and he's really kind of preaching hard on, on him being the bread of life, the bread which came down from heaven. And, and that whole chapter, there's a real long chapter in John chapter 6, he goes into that. But after, like, as he's preaching that, his disciples, I'm just going to read for you from verse number 60 of John chapter 6. It says, Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, this is a hard saying, who can hear it? So they're just like, basically, I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. We don't know what he's saying. This is kind of weird. And then Jesus answers, it says in verse 61, when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, doth this offend you? So, one of the reasons why I'm bringing this up is because when we think of the word like offending someone, it's, it's not exactly the same as, as what the scripture is talking about here. But I think this will help us to get a, a good understanding. He said his disciples were murmuring, like, well, man, this is, a, you know, this is a hard saying. I don't know who could even understand this. What's he talking about? You know, that's murmuring. Murmuring is not a good attribute to have in scripture, right? It, it's this just kind of talking under your breath, murmuring, oh, man, you know. And he asks them, well, does this offend you? And at the same time, he's, you know, in Matthew, he's talking to John saying, you know, hey, blessed is he that's not offended. So we see this used a couple times. And um, again, I think this is just because John the Baptist was, just like his disciples were confused about him being the, the bread of life and starting to question and wonder and kind of just talk, like, what is, what is this? Starting to murmur. This is what John the Baptist is doing in prison. He's kind of starting to murmur. He's starting to wonder and question, and I don't, you know, what's going on. I don't, the same way his disciples were confused about him being the bread of life is kind of the same way that John the Baptist is going. Well, why am I still in prison? And are you really, you know, the guy we're looking for? Um, 